I'm in Pennsylvania meeting with someone who's selling a brown best wall gun from the 1700s. The seller's asking for $7,500 for it, and I brought Alex out here to help me take a look at it. Hey, Alex. Hey, Jim. How are you? I'm pretty good. So this is what I called you about right here. <laughs> wow. Firing order. Is it? Yeah. We used to shoot it when I was little. Swear to God. As a kid? Yeah. <laughs> this thing is a beast. Whoa. So I noticed some markings right here. There's some type of crown right here with a little arrow and stuff. Yeah, um, so that's King George III's cipher. So it dates this to the reign of King George. He was the king for the American Revolution. He lost America for the British. So this is his cipher. Yeah, now I see why they mounted on the U. Uh... Yeah, so it's on a yeah, it's on a yoke mount, and and so this would be called like a rampart gun or a wall gun. The idea is that if you have a fort and you've got a wall, that you would sit this right into the wall really easily, and also it takes the recoil out of this. And uh, the, the ball that it shoots is about 30% larger than a traditional musket ball. You want to see how big the balls are? I do. Wow. Look at that thing. Oh my god, that's heavy too. Yep, solid lead. So this pattern gun was developed in 1738. This is an updated version, and these are rare. You do not see these, especially ones that are as complete as this. It does have some worm. That's not uncommon, but it is a detractor. Well, I definitely want to fire it. All right, before I fire it, I'd like to see if it functions well, and then I'll, I'll tell you what I think it's worth, OK? All right, you do your magic. So let me just take this rod out. Oh, yeah. I that mean, is original, would you say? Yeah, uh, you can tell by the way this is formed up here that it is the original. All right, just making sure it's empty right now? Yeah, so the good thing is the rod goes all the way back, which means there's nothing in there. Okay. So that's really good. So I can put the rod away. All right, I got a target that I made up. It's in my truck, I'll grab it, come back, load it, and shoot it, OK? All right, always prepared, this guy. The weapons expert wants to fire the brown best, and hopefully that will increase the value of the gun. So. These are uh, clays. We hit one, it'll explode. Well, let's load her up and see how she fires. All right. Ooh. This is about 100 grains of black powder. So here is that almost golf ball size lead ball. Then a little bit of toilet paper. What this does is it basically keeps the ball and the powder down in the chamber because. The idea is it won't ignite unless the powder's all the way at the bottom, but you also want the ball to travel the whole length of the barrel because it'll fly straighter. Ugh. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna put it on half cock. All right. You ready? Whoa! Yes! Look, I got it! You got two of them! Yeah! <laughs> that thing is, look how big that hole is! You know what? I couldn't have done better myself. <laughs> you want to try it? I'll reload it. No, I think that's good. <laughs> you know what? It works. Whoa! That's all I need to know. I don't want to put any extra wear and tear on it, because I might actually get a chance to buy it. That's true. And man, that is fun. Thank you so much. So should I give them the 7500 for it? Uh... I think you should give him the 7,500 because I think it's worth 20,000. <laughs> Why do I call you again? Look, these are, you just don't see them. Well, uh, uh, you really don't. And it works well. And it, it, look, it has condition issues, and I've factored that in, and it's still worth about 20,000. So. Right, well, maybe I can get it for a good deal and make plenty of money anyway. Can I give you a call and you can help me ship it back to Vegas? I will ship it back for you, I promise. Cool, because I don't think they're going to let me on the plane with this. <laughs> yeah, it might be a tough sell. <laughs> All right. All right, appreciate See you, it. Joe. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Brad. Likewise, thank you. Well, you wanted 7,500. I'll give it to you. Oh, how about 20,000? That's, that's not going to happen. I got to have some good room for profit here. Um, would you take 10? No way. How about 15? I told you how rare it is. It fires. $14,000 and we got a deal. 
I'll do 14. 14,000? All right. Let me go uh, make a phone call back to Vegas, and we'll figure out how we're going to get you paid. OK, great. All right. Now that I got the sale, I'm going to go take some shots of my own in New York City. I came out looking for $7,500. The brown best fired off, and I doubled my money. 